All right, all right, we're live from 304 Studios in Jonesboro, Arkansas. This is an stspod.club production. That's right, it's episode 777, episode 145 of Rolling Into Mempho. We have a Patreon. Go to stspod.club, right-hand corner, link of all links. That's right, link of all links. You can go to everything. We have, you you name it, we have an account on social media. I want you to follow us. TikTok is a place to be for the shiz dip minute every day. I've not missed one day. Join us. Link of all links, stspod.club. Also, join us on social social media. That's hard for me to say. We have shirts. Rolling into Mempho, Lane Dynasty. You see, we have shirts. I mail them directly right from here. I take them off the shelf and I mail them to you. And I promise you, I'll give you a button or a cup or something extra. Link of all links at stspod.club. Guys, no announced new episodes this week of STS Pod. No announced new episodes, but you never know. You never know. We might sneak one in there. What happens is we do light episodes, and uh, and we've done over 110 episodes so far uh, this year. So we have our quota in for our advertisers, but we do light in November, December, adding to the top, okay? Uh, every week, if this is the first time you joined us, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Every week, shame on you, we do hits, misses, MVP, question of the week, What's a happening? What's a happening? And must see. I'm gonna give you the upcoming events, and then we're gonna get on with the show. Sunday, December 10th is our final TV taping of 2023, and it's the biggest one yet. Join us for our annual Grind City Rumble featuring Warhorse plus WWE Hall of Famer, Handsome Jimmy Valiant. Advanced tickets are available now at MemphisWrestling.tv. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is AEW World's End. Join us Saturday, December 30th. It's free to watch. That's Dave & Buster's in Memphis. Hits, hits, hits. Rhea Star's back. We started the show with the shot of the rings, the trio's rings. That was the opening. Hit, hit, hit. Ray Ray Sanders, I don't know if this is a hit. He has to forfeit the titles or he defends them. He says tooth and nail. He's going to defend them. It's just going to be him. DK is not able to continue as champion. And who walks out? It's the Ellsworth Enterprises. They want a title shot. Put your money where your mouth is. Ray Ray. Ray Ray says he'll defend them against Ellsworth Enterprises in the main event today. Hit, hit, hit. We had a promo, video promo of Dustin and Tim Bosby. Good stuff here. Uh, Bosby talked about, uh, you know, winning the belt back to internet belt and how much everything means to him and that he needs to be in a ring with uh, talented people that are more talented than him to teach him stuff. And the person he challenged was Pro Wrestling Illustrated's number nine, Number nine, Josh Alexander. It's going to be Bosby on one side. It's going to be Josh Alexander on another. Should be fun. Should be fun. Hit, hit, hit. Van Vicious. Denzel Rollins. Rollins look good again today. Folks, go sign that petition. Let's get rid of Jimmy Blaylock. Come on, sign a petition. A uh, good, good match. Denzel looked good again. He had an awesome looking clothesline. He missed a uh, running knee which ended up with Vicious doing the curb stomp and a camel clutch. Winner again this week, Van Vicious. Van Vicious on a tear there. Blaylock did a promo afterwards, and it was very, very good. Uh, you know, talking about people were uh, trying to sign that petition, and it just real good, solid promo from Jimmy Blaylock. Then we had a video in black and white of Simon of the Posse talking about Chris. Chris was there with all these bandages, but we didn't get to see his uh, front of his face or anything. Simon's saying that 2023 may be over uh, for them and look for next year. I'm not sure what they're doing here, but but it does get you guessing, right? We had a handsome Jimmy promo sent in by 
from uh, Handsome Jimmy. Fun, fun to see him talking about coming to Minfo, rolling into Minfo, by the way, guys. Uh, fun, fun, fun. Then we had hit, 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 new trios champions, or they are the champions, the Roberts family legacy. Uh, really crazy, a lot of stuff going on in this match. Not very long match. A Roberts family just in there for a few minutes, and they win the belts uh, by pinning Molitano, who's on the same side as Swollen Cades. A Righteous Path was also in there. Uh, Big John Dalton was outside. All kinds of twists and turns, but the new trios champions and wearing the rings is a Roberts family legacy. Hit, hit, hit. We had Brad and Big Nasty talking with a video. Uh, Big Nasty thought they were tagging, but Brad tells them that, hey, I got you a tag team partner, and this week I'm going to beat I'm going to beat Gun Show, and then we're going to rename the Wrestle Center to, I think it was Main Event Bradley Center, something like that. Uh, he also tells him he has him a tag team partner. Big Nasty says, how do you undo the straight jacket? I love this. Big Nasty and Jay Webster next against Twins of Salem. You know, the Twins of Salem looked really good, but we haven't been able to see them go full steam yet. Uh, this was kind of a quick match, and it was all surrounded around Webster and his straight jacket and Big Nasty getting pinned uh, from behind. Uh, winners, Twins of Salem. Big hit there. We get a video of Ray Ray on the phone. He's talking about he is going to do all he can to keep the tag team titles later on in the show then we had main event bradley he's gonna win the title against the gun show boom the gun shows the winner very quick match gun show promo started and the crowd was loud uh out came k tumor he says he's got a title shot he wants a title shot uh, gunning for the gun show. And what I call these two guys when they went against each other before, uh, they, we had Godzilla versus King Kong. Should be awesome, should be awesome. Then Mike Anthony did a promo, looked like an abandoned building. He always likes to do something different. This kind of stuff I like. And with Mike Anthony saying, well, he's he's got a tall shot too. So uh, going to be interesting to, to uh, a former champion and a big-time contender going a, after Gun show, Brett Michaels. Then we had a main event, Ray Ray Sanders against Matt Williams and Gaston. Hit, hit, hit. All kinds of twists and turns. And uh, Ray Ray, we thought Ray Ray was going to win. We had a false finish with the referee counting the wrong person. We had some outside of interference. One, two, three. We have new tag team champions, and that's Matt Williams and Gaston. Love, love this. Love seeing them get the win. Hit, hit. Hit new champions Matt Williams and Gaston. That was our hits for week 148. Misses, misses for 148. Here's the miss Big Nasty. Come on, man. Why'd you even take the straight jacket off of Jay Webster? Next time, just leave the straight jacket on him. He didn't do anything anyway. So that was our miss for the week. Big Nasty should have just left the straight jacket on. Miss for week 145. MVP, MVP for week 145. It's got to be, it's got to be the new champs, Gaston and Matt Williams, the tag team champions. MVPs, MVPs for week 145. <laughs> Question of the week. This is question of the week for week 145. Get your question in. You can email us. See right here. You can call us. I'll play it right here on the show. Rock and roll fan 123 wrote in. I saw where Jimmy Valiant was coming into Mempho. That's right, Mempho. He's rolling into Mempho, by the way, rock and roll fan. Uh, see what I did there, guys. I am a longtime fan and been watching Memphis Wrestling for the last year on YouTube. I want to ask BT the Booker a question. Y'all remember BT the Booker? He always puts his uh, nose in places that doesn't belong usually. But uh, if R Ricky Morton came into Memphis and was going to mentor a team to be the next big thing, next big tag team, who would you pick? Well, this is easy. First, I already had the one guy, all the way Ray Collins, 
And with Ray Ray Sanders losing the tag team belts today, I'm going to put them two together. Ray Ray Sanders, all the way Ray, baby face money mentor Ricky Morton. This is baby face money, guys. Long feud with a big heel team. New tag team champs. BT, the booker's on a roll, guys. I'm on a roll. That was question of the week. Question of the week, 145. Hey, Captain Jumbo from Mifo is coming home. You know, Grandma Valia, she still lives there. She's 114. She thinks it's my birthday all the time. I'm going to have to eat another one of them uh, birthday pies. Hey, stop. Hey, Dustin, stop. You better call a band because they're going to be falling one kind of ball. Old Town Jubilee. Voila, it's going to happen. It's going to happen on December, December the 10th. And I want to tell my people and my brothers and sisters, don't you dare, don't you dare miss this one because Boogie Woogie Man. What's a happening? There's only one thing that we want to talk about that's happening. Josh Alexander on one side of the ring. Tim Bosby on the other side of the ring. Folks, week 145, that, what's happening? All right, must see, must see for week 145. Must see. Ray loses the belts, the tag team belts. Really fun ending. We have new champs, Gaston and Matt Williams. Ellsworth Enterprises. Must see, go out of your way to watch the main event as the tag team titles switch hands. Guys, you know what I'm fixing to say, don't you? I'm fixing to say, same bat time, same bat channel, here on Saturdays at 1 o'clock on the best little wrestling podcast in the business. Be there! And as everyone knows... Well, everyone's got to know this. I love my mama. <laughs>